Hello! Today I'm going to show you how to do a very simple Victorian hairstyle. To begin, we are going to brush our hair, just like in the last video. Of course, this helps to add volume, get rid of excess oils, and all those knots. <laughs> I think I achieved a little too much extra volume today. This is the look that I do most days at Fort Steele, as it's very fast and very simple. I like to do mine with a side part but you could do this with a center part as well. With my face shape, the side part just seems to work a little bit better. At that point, my camera died and I had to switch to my iPhone. <laughs> this hairstyle requires twisting. So you're going to twist the hair back away from the face uh, to just above the ears and pin it into place or use combs uh, around the crown of your head. Do the same on the other side, and for the smaller side, if you do a side part like I've done, just push this hair forward slightly to add a bit more volume. If you decide to secure this with combs, you may find that you have a bit more volume with those puffs as well. While some gentlemen chose to do a more elaborate look in the Victorian era, most gentlemen would do a simple hairstyle. For this, you're going to need a pomade. Today, Billy is using Sweet Georgia Brown, which was first introduced in 1934. However, at this time, Victorian pharmacists and barbers were making their own pomades and selling them to their customers. Other gentlemen would use beeswax, bare fat, lard, or Vaseline. This would cause quite a mess on furniture, so make sure you have doilies at hand. Take a portion of the pomade, rub it into your palms, and then evenly distribute it through your hair. There were generally three kinds of parts used at this time. A side part, no part, where you simply brush the hair back, or if you're feeling extra daring, a center part. However, if you don't have a round face, you most likely won't pull this look off. And there we are, that's the finished look. Next, we're going to gather the hair into a low ponytail, making sure that the hair at the back of the head is nice and smooth. I like to do mine in a half ponytail at this point. It just makes the next step a little bit easier. This is when you're going to create a pouch in your hair and stuff your hair down into that pouch if you don't have as thick of hair as me, you may find it easier to fully invert your ponytail and then take the excess hair and pin it into place in the hole that you created. I like to secure mine. Uh, it just makes it stay a little bit longer, but you may find that you may not need bobby pins and you can just use the tuck. That's how it looks in the back. Very nice. I find this to be a very elegant look. You can make it work for evening and day. And I like to accessorize it by using bows or barrettes like I have here. You can also use fancy combs or as I'm going to do here, use a hairpin. This is one made by a local blacksmith. Since I'm going to be wearing a hat, I decided not to embellish my hairstyle today. Make sure everything is smooth in the front. Use pins to uh, just take any pieces that are being a little bit bothersome and make sure you secure them in place. For an eight hour day out at Fort Steele where I may be walking around doing tours or working in the home, I want a hairstyle that will really stay in place and I find this one works really well. For my hat today, I've chosen this purple one with flowers and I decided I wanted to embellish it a little bit, so I pulled up one side and used my hat pin to not only secure it to my head, but to hold this side of my hat up in place. And there's the final look. I hope you enjoyed this. If you do try it yourself, please tag us on Instagram at Fort Steele Heritage Town. Bye!